Alright guys, it is a pleasant morning here in the end times in paradise in the Hollywood Hills above LA, baby! Here on Saturday morning, June 24th, 2017. So I need to get ready, Sancho and I need to get ready for our big trip to Venice Beach. We're heading to Venice Beach. <laughs> To see what we can dig up there but before we head out I uh, need to do what I do every Saturday morning and that's to bring you my clueless moron roundup rant where I simply go on the pages of the mainstream media to bring you more evidence of how this planet's collective IQ is heading directly into a toilet before I do that I just wanted to tell a uh, tell a humorous story on my little dog here that I was sharing with with Groot this morning. You know, at the end of my video yesterday, Sancho was on some major attack to what looked like from a distance. I thought he was he was a, attacking a lizard is what it was. I mean, totally freaked out. If he's at the very end of this video from yesterday, all his hair raised up and acting like a badass. So when I went to check it out, it was an, a sprinkler head. It was a drip irrigation sprinkler head that uh, that Sancho Panza was defending us from. There you go. Anyway, I just thought that was... You, you can draw your own dots, but that has to do with the end of the planet. But... Wow. Good God, guys. I must have 30 stories here, so I better dive right into this and uh, we're gonna start over there just go ahead and get myself in trouble right at from the beginning we're gonna have two stories from North Korea North Korea uh, and that little fucking maggot over there and of course the big story this week is uh, you know that that guy uh, Otto don't know Otto's last name here, but anyway, we all know who we're talking about. You know, that college student. Now, guys, I hate to say this, but let's be, let's be honest here. Uh, the guy was a fucking clueless moron for going to North Korea. But, but anyway, we won't talk trash about the dead, because of course when he was over there, uh, what, did, what was he accused of doing? taking down a, uh, a propaganda poster or whatever and uh, so for that of course he got dragged off to hard labor and beaten the shit out of him went into a coma and died and uh, so this is North Korea's uh, comment on the death of Otto uh, Otto Warm BA. I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, we all know who Otto is or was. North Korea has called itself North Korea the quote biggest victim in the death of an American student who was detained for more than a year and died days after being released in a coma. This is uh, the North official Korean Central News Agency yesterday denied that North Korea cruelly treated or tortured Otto Warmbier and accused the United States and South Korea of a smear campaign that insulted what it called its, quote, humanitarian treatment of him. There you go. Uh, anyway, and next to that story, we have North Korea presents U.S. with list of demands. <laughs> there, there you go. Uh, North Korea. Uh, presenting the United States with a list of demands is like Sancho Panza, oh, I, I don't know, walking up to a pit bull and demanding a pit bull turn over the bone. 
Uh, what, what a fucking joke. You know, guys, uh, I, I'm not gonna go blasting off too deep. We need to go squash that little fucking maggot. You know, get rid of that little fucking dweeb once and once and for all. If, if Donald Trump wants to get his ratings up, go squash that little fucking maggot once and for all, uh, Donald. And so before you start talking about the, the old Americentric ham bone, uh, I, you know I love it every, every time an American talks trash uh, about some other fucking piece of garbage. Uh, you know how we're Americentric, uh, that we don't have the right to call out another country because we live uh, under uh, the, the, the thumb of the biggest fucking maggot on this planet. I would like to take the fucking little maggot from North Korea, the big fucking maggot from this country. Hell, let's throw in, while we're at it, let's throw in that, that motherfucker uh, Michael Tamer from Brazil. How about Narendra Modi from India, that little worm over there, Duterte. Put them all in a fucking pit. Throw in some goddamn, um, I don't know, elephants. Uh, enraged circus elephants, uh, you know, maybe some uh, polar bears, uh, some hungry lions, and let's don't forget the uh, the grizzly bears. Don't forget the grizzly bears. What's going on with grizzly bears and uh, clueless morons uh, this week? Trump officials just provided, this is Newsweek magazine, Trump officials just provided a gift to trophy hunting in the form of Yellowstone grizzly bears. The decision by President Donald Trump's administration to remove the Yellowstone grizzly bear from the list of endangered species has been called, correctly, a gift to trophy hunting by conservation groups. The bear has enjoyed protected status for 42 years. But on Thursday, Secretary of the Interior Ryan Zink said it is now time to call the operation a success and to remove the bear from the Endangered Species Okay, from Ryan Zink to uh, Rick Perry, uh, many versions of this story. Uh, here is, I just picked one of them. U.S. Energy Secretary Rick Perry told he lacks fundamental understanding of climate scientists, of climate science. This is the American Meteorological Society has told Rick Perry he lacks a fundamental understanding of science after the U.S. Energy Secretary claimed carbon dioxide was not a primary cause of climate change. Uh, the former governor of Texas said, quote, the most likely primary control knob for climate change is the ocean waters and this environment we live in. <laughs> well, uh, anyway, I don't, I don't have time to uh, dissect that one. Uh, from the Energy Department to the U.S. Navy, I think I had two or three stories from the U.S. Navy last week. What's going on in the U.S. Navy this week? Navy is disciplining nine sailors for 94,000 gallon jet fuel spill. The Navy is disciplining nine sailors for their roles in a 94,000 gallon fuel spill that killed nearby wildlife, prompted families to temporarily leave their homes, and cost the service, the service, is the U.S. Navy a service? 
$3.8 million of taxpayers' money to clean up. Yes, anyway, uh, I guess they, they failed to perform their duties while on watch in May at a naval air station in Virginia Beach. Do you think so? Uh, the base sits within Virginia's largest city near housing developments and creeks. Residents have dubbed the near constant roar of jet engines as the sound of freedom. Constant roar of military jets is the sound of freedom. Okay, uh, this doesn't quite fit into a clueless moron roundup brand. I'm just cheering uh, this story on. Miami man faces 100. $20 million fine for 96 million robocall spree. A Miami man accused of flooding consumers with 96 million phone calls touting fake travel deals faces a record $120 million fine from federal regulators who said he operated the biggest robocall spoofing effort they had ever seen. This is Adrian Abramovich. Okay, uh, from robocalls to McDonald's. Uh, McDonald's showing up twice and uh, anybody who, from robo calls to uh, robo hamburgers. McDonald's stock hits record as chain upgrades its technology and replaces cashiers. McDonald's has long been the first job for legions of teenagers but they soon could be getting competition from a new source, the fast food chain's automatic kiosks. McDonald's share price hit a record $154, and analysts credited the company's move towards self-serve kiosks. Uh, there you go, the, the chain hopes to have the kiosk installed in 2,500 of its restaurants by the end of the year and also plans to launch mobile ordering. Uh, I, and I guess, uh, who else? I, I guess these other, I don't know, it's somewhere in here it tells about all the other chains. Uh, watching how it works for McDonald's before they replace these uh, teenage workers with robots. And as long as we're on the McDonald's, McDonald's changed the meat in its burgers and people are pissed. Yes, around this time last year, McDonald's announced that it was uh, going to start testing fresh, not frozen, ground beef for its hamburgers. Since then, the chain has been flipping fresh patties for its quarter pounders in Texas and Oklahoma uh, with the long-term goal to get fresh beef at a majority of its restaurants by 2018. However, many people are wildly unhappy with this change. Apparently, the biggest drawback is that it is slowing production. Uh, Reuters reports that Mickey D's location serving the fresh 
meat option typically take upwards of one minute longer to prepare the burger than outpost with the traditional frozen offering. Uh, there you go. Okay. Okay, we're not going to dive into a Donald Trump specific clueless moron roundup ramp. Let's go look at the uh, let's go look at the women in the Trump family. I'm gonna go look at the women. Okay. What is first prostitute Melania Trump up to? First whore Melania Trump's two thousand two hundred twenty-five dollar dress was perfectly on theme for the congressional picnic. Yes, wearing a $2,225 Mary Katratsu grid print dress, the first whore was outfitted perfectly for the occasion. But, uh, let's don't forget this don't let, uh, do or don't let the first whore be upstaged by Ivanka Trump. I don't think Ivanka is Melania's daughter. Uh, I think, uh, I think Melania is, is some other, is the daughter of some other whore that, uh, that Donald, you know, Trump is some other pussy that was being grabbed by Donald Trump. Uh, is she's the product of that. There's so many layers uh, of cluelessness, sick, twisted irony in this story. Good God, guys. I don't have time to break it all down for you. <clears throat> Where to even start? Ivanka Trump suddenly supported environmentally environmental sustainability with her latest look. Yes, so this is what Ivanka Trump, she showed up in a $198 dress. Is it $198 dress? Uh, the dress is, is notable not because it's by Ivanka Trump's own brand, or because it's ridiculously expensive, uh, two lightning rod sartorial topics for which the Trump women are frequently lambasted. Instead, the outfit choice is notable because the $198 dress is from the brand Reformation. The brand is known for being dedicated to sustainable fashion, a topic on which Trump, uh, I, Ivanka Trump, has remained notably silent. There you go. The irony, well, one, one of the many ironies, but at least this story is picking up on one uh, of the many ironies. The, the irony of wearing a dress by a sustainable fashion brand is not lost on industry insiders. I'm talking about, uh, you know, Ivanka Trump's uh, clothing line being perhaps the single most environmentally unsustainable line. And here she is showing up in her competitor's dress at the con congressional picnic. I I anyway, guys, don't even get me going into uh, this whole greenwashing bullshit uh, about in in sustainable clothing. Uh, I, I want to see uh, Melania and Ivanka uh, modeling this sustainable clothing. Let's all see Ivanka and Melania really get out there 
and advertise some sustainable women's clothing. I could get behind that one. <clears throat> Moving along before I lose any more subscribers. All right. You know, I, I generally like this outfit called Mashable, and I am truly embarrassed for Mashable. Take, <coughs> we're, 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 th th this is, is more about these environmentally sustainable products, how to save the planet by buying environmentally sustainable, friendly products. And this is Mashable, who are, they're, they're not clueless morons. Take your love of the environment to work with you with these 11 products. And I, uh, I love the, the opening sentence to this story. <clears throat> Just to let you know, if you buy something featured here, one of these 11 products, Mashable might earn, might earn an affiliate commission, otherwise known as a kickback. Uh, this is, this is Mashable uh, whoring uh, for the green economy. Anyway, enough of this goddamn environmentally sustainable products. Let's go over there and just start diving into random stories. Let's go over there to Texas. <clears throat> Angel of Death Nurse suspected of killing 60 children now charged in, in another two-year-old's death. Texas authorities have added to the murder accusations against a former pediatric nurse who is already serving time in prison and is suspected of killing as many as 60 children. I, I, better, I better move on right now before I, uh, I make some comment that's going to get me in all kinds of trouble. Moving on. All right. Uh, I hope uh, the angel of death does not get anywhere near Beyonce. The big news of the week. I, I should have done a uh, an update, a special bulletin this week. Beyonce has given birth, and we are all truly blessed right now. The wait is over. Beyonce and Jay-Z's twins are finally here. And for the other burning question, no other burning questions, plural. No, we don't know exactly when the babies were born. No, we don't even know if the babies are boys or girls or one of each. No. We don't know their names. No, we don't know how much they weighed. Parentheses, people love knowing how much babies weigh. And I have no clue what this sentence means. No, we don't know how big sis Blue Ivy is dealing with this yet. Congratulations, Beyonce. Uh, I've already mentioned this story, but it just bears repeating this weird story. Uh, exploding whipped cream dispenser kills fitness blogger. An Instagram star and well-known fitness blogger, Rebecca Berger, has died in a freak accident after a pressurized canister used for dispensing whipped cream exploded, hitting her in the chest. Uh, Berger, who had a large following on Twitter, where she posed, posted regular pictures of herself promoting fitness products, was killed in eastern France. 
Guys, what the hell? Uh, what the hell is a fitness pro guru doing with a with a can of whipped cream? Uh, you know it, it, it. Anyway, I won't. I won't go to the old uh, Bill Hicks routine about that jogger dying of a heart attack and wasn't it uh, Adele Davis. I think Adele Davis and Ewell Gibbons both, you know, promoting this organic vegan lifestyle, these big champions. I think it's, her name was Adele Davis and Ewell Gibbons both dead of stomach cancer. Uh, anyway. Okay. Let's see what's going. Let's go look at some of the parents of the week. All sorts of articles. Uh, <clears throat> couple arrested, and I understand the, uh, the, the father was a, uh, a preacher from Alabama, a, a, pa a church pastor. Couple arrested after mom breastfeeds daughter while drinking and smoking at a bar. An Alabama couple has been arrested after the pair brought their infant daughter to an Indiana bar where her mother allegedly breastfed her while drinking beer and offering to have sex with people who would buy her more alcohol, authorities said. Let's go from couples. Let's just look at daddy of the week. Daddy of the week. Daddy, well, dad, who had wanted abortion, allegedly beats his baby girl within an inch of her life. A little girl is fighting for her life after New York City cops say her teenage father viciously attacked her on Father's Day. There you go. Uh, and uh, I will probably be accused of being a racist by reading the name. Dad, 19-year-old Shaquan, Shaquan Taylor alleg allegedly snatched the baby from her mother's arms before he continued his assault on the 17-year-old mother. Uh, but at least Shaquan was there, amazingly. So this is an argument for uh, single mothers. I anyway, guys, again, I better uh, move along. A, a couple of bathtub stories. Uh, here is mom accused of having sex while daughter drowned in bathtub and this is a 26 year old Texas woman has been arrested in connection to her toddler daughter's death after the little girl drowned in a bathtub while her mother was having sex in another room authorities said there you go Okay, I think we get it. And right next to that one, eight month old baby drowns while mom texted on Facebook. <clears throat> Another Texas mother. Last week we were talking about the uh, Texas mother uh, leaving her two, two kids to die in a hot car for 15 hours. So we've gone from hot cars to bathtubs in Texas. This is, if anybody does not see a reason to, to sterilize every Texan uh, as a place to start this, this planet-wide sterilization program, uh, I, I vote the state of Texas. Okay, a Texas mother was arrested after her baby drowned in a bathtub while she was messaging on Facebook. This is Cheyenne Stuckey, age 21, left her mother, 
left her mother, left her daughter in the tub with the water running for only a couple of minutes. But investigators discovered the mother had actually been on Facebook Messenger for 18 minutes while Zayla was drowning in the tub. She was texting with two other people. Blah. blah. Okay, all sorts of a theme developing from bathtubs to uh, kids with loaded guns. Mom charged after boy, after three-year-old boy fires loaded gun while left alone in the car. This is a Florida mom faces charges after cops say her toddler got hold of her loaded gun and fired off around while allegedly left alone in a parked car. Well, the kid was probably trying to get the clueless fucking bitch's attention. Mom, you, you left me in the fucking hot car, you clueless fucking bitch. Why didn't you get sterilized before you ever had me? Is, is what I think he was trying to say. Okay. How about mom of two-year-old boy who fatally shot his brother had allowed the toddler to pull the gun's trigger before. Where is this from? Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, the mother of a two-year-old boy who fatally shot his nine-year-old brother in the head had previously allowed her younger son, the two-year-old, to hold the gun. Authorities say Wendy Lavamia, 28, even let the child practice pulling the trigger. Yes. Uh, when uh, rescuers responding to the shooting arrived, they were told that the mother told them she had placed an unholstered 9mm handgun on a bed within the reach of her two-year-old son. G D G G. Okay. How about toddler pulls loaded gun from toy box during police welfare check. We're back to Florida for this one. A, uh, a, a toddler pulled out a loaded gun from his toy box while police were doing a welfare check in his Florida home. Uh, there, there you go. Uh, while officers were speaking to the boy, boy's mother, Rosalind Faneel, the child took the 9mm out of his toy box. Uh, officers found one bullet in the chamber and the safety was off. The uh, mother told officers she had no idea the gun was in her home. Okay, let's go out to where I'm heading shortly to Northern California, to Humboldt County. And if anybody does not know what a, uh, what a meth addict's face looks like, you need to look up this story. Woman beats and chokes 11-year-old daughter in near-fatal exorcism. A California mom was arrested last week after witness reported she was violently trying to exorcise demons from her 11-year-old daughter. This is in the town of Ferndale, one of those meth central uh, towns. Um, according to the caller, oh, the caller reported that the assailant was the victim's own mother. The, the caller said the mother was attempting to perform an 
exorcism on the child who had been stripped naked as her mother allegedly shoved handfuls of sand into her eyes and mouth. Yes, she insisted she was simply trying to remove demons from her child. Okay, let's look at teen love, teenage romance. In, 20, in 2017, teen savagely beaten by her boyfriend for downloading an app. Uh, so, what was Snapchat? Uh, so, he was pissed off. And, and, you know, I mean, on one level, I can't blame the guy uh, too much. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying he should have beat his girlfriend uh, to within an inch of her life. But, you, you know, these goddamn apps, this Snapchat and shit like that, uh, you, you know, I better move along, move along, move along. Let's look at the newlyweds, from teen romance to newlyweds. Newlywed convicted of murder for hire after jury deliberates for just 90 minutes. Uh, this is back to Florida, Dahlia DiPolito. Uh, there you go. A realtor had been secretly recorded as she met an undercover cop posing as a hitman to murder her new husband. Some of the officers said they had trouble keeping a straight face as she shed crocodile tears. And there you go. Court officials had to call an ambulance when the 34-year-old defendant started hyperventilating after the verdict was read. From Florida to Niagara Falls, one time Niagara Falls survivor dies after apparent repeat stunt. He wasn't happy, do it once, he had to go back a second time. The first person ever to survive a death-defying plunge into Niagara Falls without protection has died after attempting the feat again in an inflatable ball. This is good old Kirk Jones. Kirk Jones. We can kiss goodbye to that clueless fucking moron that the first time didn't get him. I guess they had to go back again. I have no idea who the fuck Kenya Moore is. Kenya Moore shares why she kept her new husband's identity secret and says she wants kids right away. And then there's also a, uh, a uh, an associated story, everything you need to know about Kenya Moore's new husband, but that joke is wearing thin. All right. From uh, Kenya Moore to someone else. I have never, I, not only have I never heard of this clueless fucking bitch, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Emily Ratajkowski. Emily Ratajkowski shares sizzling, booty-bearing vacation snaps. Emily Ratajkowski is no stranger to showing off her body, the 26-year-old model who judge, who judging based on her Instagram account is on a permanent vacation, shared more bikini pics from Paradise on Friday, bearing major backside. There you go. The swimsuit shots followed an update from the model 
taking a bat, a bite out of a refreshing slice of watermelon. Keep sipping that white wine and having a good time, Emily. And there's an assorted story. Emily addresses criticism over racy Instagram pics. Quote, this is just the body I was given. But we're going to wrap up uh, with this. I really wish I had time to go into it because I know how important this is to every one of my readers uh, looking for one more threat against the planet. When cows attack. When cows attack. How dangerous are cows? And how can you stay safe around them? You get that cow. What you need to do is get in a, uh, an attack dog. I, I don't know if Sancho is attacking another... Uh, are you attacking another drip irrigation sprinkler head? You get that sprinkler head. Get the sprinkler head. Anyway... I gotta wrap up this week's clueless fucking. Oh, I, I that's right. I promised an associated rant yesterday about uh, why conservationists need to be optimistic. So let me go dig it up, and I will come back with a short rant on that for this clueless moron roundup rant. Bye, guys.